At first, a shooting investigation. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you Oxford Street in Providence. That's where Providence police are searching for the suspect in a shooting that happened in broad daylight today. That masked suspect walked up to a car and shot the two people inside. And it happened right in front of a nonviolent center. It's our top local story at 10. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Chapato is live in Providence with the latest developments. Well, Aaron, one man was hit in the leg, the other in the arms and the leg. And a third man likely escaped being shot because he was inside this nonviolence institute picking up a check. And this all may have been over an ongoing feud. You heard a pop, pop, and I look. The gunfire brought Trixie Farrell to a window at the Institute for the Study and Practice of Nonviolence. I saw the guy that sat there and did the shooting, but he had on a hoodie and a mask. She ran downstairs to find two young men shot in a car. I seen the guy getting, he got shot, and he, got, he slumped over in the car. So I ran out here downstairs just to see if he was all right. The two were shot as they waited for a third man to pick up a check at the Institute. Looks like they were shot through the car door, which I think helped deflect it. The man who was inside picking up a check has been working with the Institute for eight months, trying to turn his life around. The third person did have in the past some rivalries in this city. Teddy Gross, the Institute's director, says he believes the shooting is payback for an ongoing feud in the city. Someone was a target. Again, it's speculation. I mean, like, can I say with 100% certainty? No, but someone made, uh, made the effort to come with a gun and shoot the two people. Both men were taken to Rhode Island Hospital this afternoon where they were treated, and it does not appear that police know who this man is. There was some video that was turned over to police, but they do, do need your help. If you have any information, you're urged to call Providence Police. And that is where we're live tonight with our mobile newsroom. I'm Alex DePrado. Eyewitness News.